Okay, welcome to the video. Glad you're here. Today we're going to do a tour of the new Mid Journey Alpha. So this is version six. And uh, what's unique about this is the fact that Mid Journey, you can create and do things no longer on Discord. So uh, if you're a fan of Discord, uh, too bad, so sad, but now we're off of Discord and we're in our own area with MidJourney. And let me tell you, it is so much faster than using anything on Discord. And let me show you some things, right? First off, let's just start with the fact that you can explore uh, some ideas real quick. So it starts off right over here on the uh, far left, Explore. And there's some random images here. And if you scroll down, you can see there's a lot here. It, it, there's a lot of things, different ideas, different versions of art, different uh, techniques and, and that type of stuff. We can also click over here to hot, hot and we can see some ideas that I think a lot of people uh, really uh, like. And then uh, these are the top images that, that Mid Journey likes, right? That's really cool. I like this one. Uh, I love that cat, you know, there's some really cool ones in here. And then, of course, these are your likes, right? Uh, so let's go back to random, right? And let's scroll down. And I want to show you actually how to create. And maybe we're going to get inspiration from one of these images, right? So down here a little bit is this image of uh, the koi. And so this is... Um, Two koi fish in a yin yang, one light and the other dark, charcoal drawing, monochrome, white background. Uh, and it gives you the version and the stylization number, which is 250, right? So we're going to hit prompt, right? And we're going to go over here to create. And uh, so let's just delete this part real quick because we're going to play around with. This slider over here on the far right, you'll see this little control here. And we can play around with the shape. You know, here's portrait, here's square, here's landscape. Okay, let's keep it square. We can play with the stylization command, stylize. You can go from zero to a thousand. Zero was, you know, raw. A thousand is uh, some crazy, crazy, uh, 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 creativeness, right? So we're, we're going to keep it, uh, let's keep it at like 100, right? Here's your weirdness level. You can go from zero to 3000. And uh, so let's keep it at zero because we don't want weird koi uh, swimming. And here's our chaos, right? We can go from zero all the way up to 100. And just for the sake of uh, doing something fun, let's make it 30. Okay. Uh, you can play with the versions and your speed and all types of stuff, right? We're on create, and all we have to do really is just hit return, and you can see that it's starting starting to work, right? So instead of uh, seeing it in uh, Discord like you've normally done in a square grid, this gives you a row of four images, and then you can um, start. Uh, start seeing what's going on. And then after these images develop, um, we'll pick one and we'll play around with it with the where all the new upscale and the very commands and all that stuff are, right? So as you can see, we're getting our images returned. And it'll be just a moment here. Uh, you know, the speed is just about the same as using Discord. It takes, you know, probably about a minute or so. And... Um, and we want the yin yang look, right? Which is kind of like the, the opposites, right? And uh, this is more of a heart shape. So I think that one's not gonna work. This one's kind of cool. Uh, this one's on a black. I kind of like the first one here. So it's 100% complete. So let me show you this. Right here, we can very subtle. We don't have to go touch anything and we can already you start playing with it. So if we hit very subtle, now it already starts doing that. If we hit very strong, now it already starts doing that. It, so this is how you can generate more ideas faster. If we click the image that we liked, you can see here's our prompt, here's the levels that we used, right? Whoops, 
Here's the levels that we used. Let's go back to where we were, this one. Um, and then um, you've got all these buttons here, right? Upscale, subtle, creative, we can pan, we can zoom out, we can rerun it, we can do a remix, uh, and then we can uh, use the image or the prompt, right? So you've got all these buttons, here's where you would download. So this really makes it easy for you to do stuff uh, now it's not turning green or blue. It's very subtle with the with the uh, kind of color palette. Uh, I, I kind of like it actually. Um, and then what's really neat here is that we can do if we chose remix, and that's my favorite. The prompt comes up. I love remix. This is kind of how I do uh, how I work normally. Uh, we can say we can change something in here, and let's say. Uh, we want an orange highlight. Whoop, I to spell it correctly. Orange highlight. Go. Right now, it's working on that. So let's go back to our uh, image. Here we go. And uh, and it's, it's using one with the orange highlight. And here are the other ones. So what's really great about these is you can see which ones you like, which ones you don't like. It's I think it's much easier to pick and start playing around with the images and get to where you want to go faster than uh, you doing anything in Discord. Um, all right, so that's complete. Uh, it's kind of interesting. It just kind of made an orange circle. This one's an orange part here. And then we've got orange parts behind the fish. I don't know if that was a good experiment or not, but we're just going to pick uh, an image and we want to kind of upscale it and use it for um, for our purposes. So let's say we wanted to upscale this and we wanted to download and use it. We could just hit upscale subtle. And now uh, it's starting that process. Uh, and uh, so it's going to be a... Um, once it's done, then we can download it, right? Uh, while that's working, let's show the archive. So these are all the images that we've created. And you can see we've got one that we're working on here. And this is the stuff I've created today. Uh, this is yesterday's batch, right? These are all the images that you can see. And then what's really cool here is that um, you can do different view options, like you can do uh, small, medium, or large, your preference. I kind of like the small, so I can just pick and choose. They also have folders here, right? So you can create a folder, and that way, if you want to see stuff, like maybe you create lots of tigers. It Once you create a folder, you can do a tag, and it automatically will put stuff in it that matches that. So let's say skull. And let's click Smart Folder. And what search terms will say Skull. Now, anytime I use the word Skull in a prompt, it's automatically going to load that into this folder. And as you can see, uh, I love making Skull images. There's like 80 gazillion of these. And this is a really great way for you to keep things separate. If you're doing one or two, three, ten types of images all the time, it makes it really easy to reference these, and it automatically files them away for you, right? So let's go back. We've got our uh, upload is almost done. Here it is. And then we can just download this to our hard drive, and then we can use this how we want to. Um, so anyway, that's a quick tour of the Midjourney Alpha new website. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully, you'll have access to this soon, and can, you can start playing around with it also. I find it to be much uh, quicker and faster than using uh, the Discord version. Um, but uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Midjourney Experience newsletter uh, where we share tips like this and more. Um, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.